Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today we are here with <laughs> wow, Kelly, Apollo and Max. With Max. <laughs> Max and Apollo. Starting from the left, the very beautiful, gorgeous Anita Gaido. Hey. Oh my hey. Yes. Siri Studio, she's a designer. And in the, whatever she's wearing, she has made us a hot woman. She's a hot woman. Hot mom. Hey. Hot mom. Hey, and tell us. <laughs> like, yes. I'll leave a link on the description box of her <laughs> Instagram page. You can directly order from her if you want some outfits made like the other what, what are those called palazzo pants culottes okay. and those are the palazzo oh, palazzo palazzo culottes <laughs> we have Seth who is the founder of Discover Mount Kenya <laughs> if you guys watched our vlog our first second vlog we did yeah, a yeah. vlog when we went, when we went to Nanyuki um, that whole entire uh, episode and trip was sponsored by Discover Mount Kenya. Anything to do with Mount Kenya, if you want to travel there, if you want to invest there, he's the go-to. One more thing, this video is sponsored by Jumia Kenya. Hey. They are, yeah. we just ordered yummy, food yummy, about yummy. 15 minutes ago, so we're waiting for it to come. Thanks mm -hmm. Jumia. Thank you. Yeah. Munch munch. Today we're talking about marriage. Um, the reason we have Anita and Seth here is because we're debunking myths on marriage and we realized we can't talk about this without actually having yeah, a married, married people. You know, married people here yeah. to give us their opinion. Mm -hmm. um, so Anita is married with a child, not to Seth. <laughs> <laughs> Seth, I need to make that clarification. Yeah. <laughs> Seth is married, lovely family. Um, same to Anita. And Seth is a uh, twin dad! Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Shout out to Nana! So basically besties. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Myth number one. Mm -hmm. If you can't cook, you will not find a husband. <laughs> Let us discuss. That one is very close to my heart because yeah. <laughs> me in the kitchen. Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, we are not friends. Mm. Mm. I, I want to know, like, if that's true, especially from Seth. So, well, you could pretend you know how to cook till you get married. Mm. Mm. Then you can't. Then you can't get out of that, can you? <laughs> how can you pretend? How does a woman pretend to cook? By what? calling Jumia. Wait, do women do this? Have you? I'm sure. So. I, I don't yeah? know. There has to be. Yeah, if I couldn't me. cook, I would do that. Yeah. Is, is yeah. the way to a man's heart truly only through his stomach? Stomach, yeah. yeah. Um, is okay. It? Now, okay. Seriously, though, it's it's a caregiving thing first okay. of all. Okay. So I mean, your mom took care of you. Okay. And she cooked for you and all. So I guess that's where it starts because it has to start from the emotional angle, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. She can take care of me and of course take care of the, the kids when the they come. Right. Right. They won't right. be yeah. And with this economy, you don't know what will happen. You may get to a point where you can't afford a, a house, a yeah. house a help. help. Yeah. So maybe move to traditional roles where the man is a provider and the protector and the yeah. woman is a caregiver. Yeah. So this is all, you know, there's a long history to why we want the women or we'd rather the women yeah. cooked. But interestingly enough, I remember with my mom mm -hmm. got to a point where she wasn't cooking, mm -hmm. but the food tasted like her cooking. Right. Mm. Strange. She trained. She people. trained them. Yeah. Because That's I think that uh, yeah, yeah. Because you need the woman's touch, and the the, the alpha female mm. in the home is is your wife, the isn't wife. it? Yeah. yeah. So the cooking must be in her image. The, mm. the it's true. And what it's are you? true. Mm. Because I think I've actually been to someone's house, and I know she doesn't cook, but the house he cooks. Mm. And I find that because, like, for me, when my mom, my mom was working, like she's busy. Yeah. But I know, you know, when you like get a new house help. There's way they cook that's off. Then eventually yeah. they start cooking the. Then it's just yeah. like the like the, 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 the first one, one. and yeah. then so like you know there's effort that's put yeah. yeah. And just like you're saying, maybe for me, for example, I. I have never really practiced cooking, but not because I know I can't cook, because there's never just been that opportunity. Yeah. There's a house help, there's whatever, but I know like once I get married or I get a man or whatever, my mm. kids, I'm going to actually want to cook for them. My story about cooking was an yeah. ex a long time ago. I remember his words were, to get married, you need to show that your marriage material now. So what did Ivy do? Ivy started cooking. Okay, Ivy does yeah. not enjoy cooking. Yeah. cooking. I hate being in the kitchen. I would really? come from work, go home at six, and at six I'm cooking. And yeah. it became I hated it. I started resenting it. Yeah. So since then, by the way, after that, I'm like, by the way, I, I, in my relationships, I say very clearly, I don't mm. cook, I don't clean. I hire people to do it, and I'm very good at managing people. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Wow. So is that a deal breaker? I think your system works, but I would, 
I mean, can I just speak? You just speak. Please. Please. Don't, because you're very diplomatic. Because me, I want to get married. Yeah. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, this is the myth. If you can't cook, you're not getting married. married. At least, this is not at now we are pussyfooting around the issue. This yeah. is what your mother will tell you. Yeah. How can a woman like you all the in time. this house? You're sitting here, you have bigger breasts than mine, and you're not cooking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you right? You're, and you're being told cooking is, a, is an integral fiber yeah. of you as a woman yeah. for you to be in a happy home. Yeah. But we know, okay, now with feminism, you know, it's like you know that that shouldn't be yeah. the thing. Yeah. But also, one part of it is like, Ama, is it true? You yeah. know, that's what I'm trying Especially to figure out. Yeah. You're single, you're and like, even when you're in a relationship, you find yourself thinking, you know, I know I don't have to do this. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, you're just like, babe, what do you want to eat? But you've seen how what they do when you go for a party mm -hmm. and the girls are in these princess dresses. Mm -hmm. They're not allowed to climb trees. They're being told, you know, sweep the place. Yeah. And the, so it starts, it's, it's a form of subjugation yeah. where it the boys are outside early. playing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The girls are already being taught, yeah. well, being turned into glorified servants. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. we're being socialized to you take care of the man. take care of the yeah. man. Yeah. So I think for your generation, it's good that you, you stand up against that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm you know the whole equality thing yeah. yeah but i would say that cooking is not all about eating that's why we have restaurants we have celebrity chefs mm -hmm. and what right, have you right, there's right. also the love i mean i am the mother yeah, that's I am true the wife. Yeah. that's true so what i meant sister is that when you mix and match on occasion mm. It would be good if you cook. I mean, I would mm. appreciate if my wife cooks for me once yeah. in a while. Yeah. I'm not asking her to do it every day. She's a career woman and mm. so on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I really want her to do it sometimes also because I have two daughters. Mm. I love seeing her teaching mm. my daughter, you know, and all that. So it's not just about eating. Yeah. Me, yeah. I, I, I enjoy cooking. But what I don't like is um, that thing of I'm, hungry. I'm expected yeah. to cook. Yes. Mm. I'm hungry. I don't like that. Yeah, I'm yeah. hungry. Yeah. Full stop. I don't like that. Mm. I like cooking out of mm, I feel like cooking today. Yeah. yeah. It's so a me, treat. I'm, it's a treat. Mm. Yeah. It's supposed to, me, I think it's supposed to be a treat. Mm. <laughs> you know the people even when you're kiddos, at my mom cooks on Sunday. Yeah. You know that kind of thing. Yeah. So all through dating, yeah. I cooked for my man. Mm. Almost oh, every weekend, God. like when we'd hook up, I would cook. When we got married, I cooked every day. Yeah. Like wow. every single day. Wow. Watch how the baby comes. <laughs> uh, and then I got a nanny. Mm -hmm. Then the first time he found out the household had cooked, he didn't even eat. Wow. What? He just wanted my food. Yeah. He didn't want yeah. to. Yeah. It's like, as it was so weird for him. Yeah. <laughs> and I had to stop cooking for a while. Okay, I, I used to mix, so I would have her cook today, I cook tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Then that way I was able to phase out my own cooking. So yes. I can even go almost a week without cooking. Yeah. But before he would only eat my food and I was like, nope, not sustainable. Yeah. yeah. So don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Don't be a cooking yeah. for a man every day. Yeah. Yeah. I did you nice. make it for a while and yeah. it's not sustainable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Richard. cool. Okay. So, um, women lie about the number of children they want. I can't stop laughing about these points. <laughs> oh, Women really? lie about so the number funny. of children they want. Um, okay, now, I've been to the delivery room mm -hmm. twice, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a miracle that you witness in there. Yeah. Messed me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huh? yeah. I mean, I find me holding arguments with squirrels and stuff. <laughs> but but okay. it's, it's, it's a miracle. What you see there is a miracle. <laughs> so, mm. the fact that life is realized on this reality with women being the channels mm. there's majesty in that mm. if i may say so and what i mean is, is I women deserve to be yeah. respected greatly mm. for the role that they play as well co-creators really mm. yeah. the woman can overrule the man i think mm. but uh, and and to the to the brothers, you will be punked. Let me just <laughs> let me confess to you. But what you do, I don't think you can overdo it. Mm -hmm. So you don't want anyone in the marriage to feel as though you know them and another mouth to feed. Mm -hmm. you no know, children mm -hmm. should be welcomed. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And so yeah. they, I think, children fall in three categories. You have the ones who are invited and welcome. Yeah. You have the ones who are That's not invited. For? Oops. But they are welcome. Oops, yeah. babies then, were uh, welcome. Yeah, oops, babies are welcome, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But now you have the ones who are not invited and they are not they welcome. welcome. Hang on, so women say that they want <laughs> more. They tell men that they want less, they admit to want less children, but in reality they, they want, want more. more. Is that a myth? That's a myth. That's what you guys hear. That's what we are told. 
I don't. I think women once you get a child, I would see women getting more and more and okay. more. Single okay. child families are so quite that, rare. This mm. is why I was like, in fact, I want to talk about this because I feel like with that point, I hear that as well out there, like where men are like, you know, chicks right now at least you have a biological clock so you're panicking you just want to have kids mm -hmm. and there's an assumption that every woman wants a child mm -hmm. yeah i don't think you need to assume that because not every woman wants to have children mm -hmm. this is true the same way some women want children but they really don't they're not keen on being mm -hmm. married mm -hmm. all right next point is um having kids brings couples closer or saves a troubled marriage I've had mm. that before. Mm. I don't think it's true. I, think it's I really don't think it's true. It's, it makes it harder. I don't think it's true. Yeah, but then there's some situations I've noticed, like yeah. there's a, a temporary thing. fix. Yeah. I don't know. It's like temporary. Temporary. Maybe temporary. temporary is the key word. Well, um, yeah, that's a huge, huge myth. Mm. Because if anything, kids make things harder. Yep. Yes. Yeah. I agree. Because your emotional everything is just screwed up mm. maybe it's a bit easy the first few weeks because you know everyone's excited you're excited and then you're just you're part you you're both feeling close to the baby there's this new thing mm -hmm. then chances are at some point someone will feel neglected and usually it won't be the baby don't it believe it that it depends on the problem doesn't mm -hmm. it because you have what is the manifestation of of, of both your genes. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I mean, children are wonderful in that way because you, you know the way we say she, she has a mother's eyes or he mm. has a father's walk. Mm. And then the child begins to develop dexterity, mm -hmm. the teeth come, mm. oh, they are standing, they are crawling, mm. they are walking, they mm. are talking. Mm. So I think that shared experience of we made this, mm. I do believe, mm. can bring you closer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, oh but, but I, I did feel closer to my wife yeah. when the children when when in fact when the firstborn came it was just amazing wow. then after that mm. twins yes she bought so, twins for you yeah yeah but of oh. course now like but there you, is, the, the, there is the the ups issue. and downs if you're not mature enough because very many weaknesses okay. come out when kids come if someone is selfish yeah. if they are lazy it really yes. comes out yeah. Yeah. it really yeah. Yeah. like selfishness you just left mm. the woman yeah. she's recovering from a cesarean you yeah. the boys at the bar oh, yeah Next point, women come kitted. <laughs> I love this point. Women come kitted with manipulation in information given to them by their mothers and aunties. Yani how this is how you get your man. Yeah. This is how you make him stay. Him. This is to bring him back to the home. So you manipulate. Hey Lisa. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah how to get out of trouble. Yeah, they know. Yeah. They know, yeah. They know what they're doing. Wow. <laughs> I've been brought flowers at six in the morning. And they were so ugly. They were the fish ones. Oh, it's a chef. Oh, yeah. Men and women have been interacting for thousands of years. Yeah. So, <laughs> on, 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 yeah, I mean, you say, so on one hand, yeah, like... It's like, <laughs> so different. Yeah, it's so <laughs> different. But I love it. I know. Yeah, yeah, don't so, bring us so, now. Yeah. There's a yeah. myth I have, actually. Mm -hmm. There's a what? That when you're yeah. dating, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a myth or a conspiracy theory. Mm -hmm. It came to me once, we were baked. Mm. Uh -huh. We were what? They were baked, you were stoned. No, yeah. no, no, I, I wanted to bring about to congratulate you for the award. Jokes. Okay. No, congratulations. You Thank you. Yeah, you when you're dating, dopamine. Mm. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. So what does dopamine do? You're high. Mm. Yeah. Same effect as people who take cocaine. Mm. Yeah. Yes, yes. So you're high. And then I read this recently. Mm. Uh, when you when you're newly in love, mm. yeah. so your neural your neural pathways yeah. that judge, you know, yes. that make judgments on people. 
it's actually shut down. Yeah. Yes. You, you love everything, even the bushes. Yeah, you, you can't see. see. You can't see them. Yeah. So, so that, that's the science behind love is blind. Mm. Because you know your neural wiring is actually shut. It's, that makes it's an actual people. physical. It is. Yeah. Okay. Me, I feel when you get married. Mm -hmm. Opens. Yeah. <laughs> it opens. It opens, and now, yeah, like mm. you start seeing this. Part. There are things that you could see before, mm -hmm. but you didn't even want to yeah. go there. Is it because of time? Is it because you're spending time. more time together? It's time. Like, so the it? dopamine now has settled. Okay. So whatever, Tentation. whatever okay. in your brain now, um, you know, helps you make judgment yeah. is now back open. Mm. <laughs> Another myth is, um, it's better to be married and unhappy than to be unmarried. So there's almost a thing where at least she's married. I mean, we look at a woman who's married and we're like, at least you don't look at her as, as much as she's in an unhappy marriage. We are not she's as still harsh. Better off. She's still better off mm -hmm. than the one who is unmarried. Know, yeah. mm -hmm. A certain of, I think, women being um, a measure of success for a woman is, is getting yeah. a husband. Yeah. Yeah. And a man does, is not held to the same standard. Yeah. Yeah. It's so messed up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's pressure on the men, but much later. Yeah, yeah, like when later. you're approaching 40. Yeah. yeah. Well, even past 40. Yeah. That's when they start getting jittery. Yeah. Like, what yeah. have you, what's going on with this person? Mm. And where? For me, mm. <laughs> I mean, when we're dating, I had this, me and my husband had this thing of, you know, divorce will never be an option. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've been married for what, three years? Yeah. So and dated him for how many years? A lot. So many, many, many years. Today is an anniversary, actually. Oh, oh. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary yeah. guys. <laughs> okay, yeah. Happy. So because I've been married this time and there have been the ups and downs, I know how low the downs can get. Mm. Yeah. If you've worked on everything, if you've gone counseling, if you've tried, mm. I honestly don't think like divorce is divorce is the worst thing. It's the worst thing. Mm. You know, mm. it's nice seeing people who are single and happy mm. than people who are married and unhappy mm -hmm. if i if i may yeah. Yeah. you know apologize for quoting my mom a lot but anyway it's okay so i remember one of the last things she told me was she she said happiness is a right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. same way you have freedom of movement freedom of expression mm -hmm. happiness yeah. is a human right mm -hmm. that's true mm -hmm. and i think that was her telling me because my mom and dad they divorced mm. okay. and I think she was now telling me look you should never be in a position where you are unhappy yeah. mm. you must demand your not to be selfish yeah. but if someone is making you sad if they're a bother then I think divorce should it's better to leave yeah, yeah. you see yeah. Yeah. but interestingly enough you will get to a point in the, in the marriage it's a sweet spot but it's not seen as such mm. what I mean is mm -hmm. you'll get to the point where you cannot take any more BS from each other mm. you'll get to that point mm. and at that point you need to sit down and you say okay skiza one mm. two three four mm. coming home at midday mm. you're not pulling that shit. Yeah. You know, if you do that again I'm out yeah. yeah you see women pretend when dating so as to market themselves as marriage material <laughs> to men yep what I was that doing? true cooking <laughs> yeah because yeah. for me i've had stories where ati the man changed all of a sudden like this guy was the best guy ever then once they got married he started like they start slapping you or you know coming home late but you have never seen this trait in this man before you, you got married why are you dating at the end of the day there, there must dating. be some kind of time limit Listen, you won't date for 50 years it's then, true it's true see. it's true so, so at the end think, of the day dating is a is is we're all testing a job interview. Mm, yeah, it's a job interview. It's a job interview. Are you? Am I? Am I? Am I compatible with you? Exactly. Mm. Am I not compatible with mm. you? You know, the family is there. It's ground zero. That's where they learn how to interact with society. Mm. So I think marriage is a lot. It's about way more than just the two of you. Yeah, There's yeah, children yeah, involved. Yeah. Are you building businesses yeah, together? Yeah, yeah. There's legacy. Yeah. There's heritage. Yeah. And I think that's which how is you why, stay married. Yes. Which is why. Okay. That's a mm. very good point. Mm. So that's why also you don't also leave marriages just because you're unhappy mm. because there's a lot more to take so you don't just leave because i'm no longer happy yeah, you don't, you don't all, quit your happiness. job because you're unhappy yes. no, no, no. first of all exactly yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. exactly yeah. and first of all happiness is on you me this thing of uh, what i'm learning now it, this thing of putting your happiness on somebody else it is the worst thing you can yeah. do yes. i mean that's yeah. what i've done all my life Agreed. My mm. i'm like you didn't come home, so I'm pissed. Mm. You didn't text me, so I'm pissed. Mm. You didn't love me how I want to be loved, so I'm, I'm pissed. pissed. What the fuck? Mm. My, have to, my happiness has to be pegged on me. Yeah. Mm. I have to be like, he's not here, so how can I figure out to be happy within this space yeah. right now? Because yeah. 
at the end of the day, you will be disappointed by somebody else. Yeah. Oh. Now you need to learn how to wade those waters mm. as an individual. Yes. Modern women are not marriage That's material. what I want to hear. Mm. Mm. That's what I really want. Modern wanna, women are not marriage material. Yeah. Mm. What, who is saying what is a, what is a modern is woman? This? Not even that. Quandi, this, this modern women, we were in the same class with them, we teach at 29, 4 times 4 is 16. Mm. How comes now we are the ones who are now married and yeah. the men is still married? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What is a modern yeah. woman? You go to Shags and get this chick who will put your shoes in the fridge. Is that the person you want? <laughs> what is a modern woman? I, I think a lot of men are just disturbed by us now talking. Strong mm. women. Talking back. Having yeah. opinions? Yes. Yeah. Strong opinions. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. okay, okay. I feel like Seth has something to say. Even a joke. Even what joke is there? What joke is there? What joke is there? Oh, what joke is there? Yeah, what joke is This is our beloved cameraman. Wajohi, we love him to be. Yes. We love Wajohi. Man. He's no longer single. Uh, sorry. Oh, I missed my book. Sorry, guys. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry, aunts, Jules. Your aunt Alonso are saying this. It's not the guys, it's, it's your aunt. Guys? Your aunties and your mothers. No, but I'm totally right. Oh. They always say, I'm Oh, they're telling you guys. Oh, you guys. Saying, you know, I was not shot. <laughs> also, they are telling you. And my auntie was like, what oh, Johi, women of nowadays, they're no good. Oh, so you okay. it's, my, it's my auntie, so it's like, mm. meet someone who is compatible. But those Nairobi women, they're no good. So you get a shag. It's your aunties who are saying this. Oh. Get it's not men. Yeah. Because then they have a way of, same way, same way you're saying, they have a way of saying, a woman cooks, a woman does exercise. Yeah. Oh, now so they're like, women, women nowadays. Wow, women it's nowadays other women cook. who are saying this. Besides, women women. Women. I want to cook or it's not. It's your aunties who are saying this. Mm -hmm. and your wow. Because, because Hi, yeah. they also judge you, by the way. My mom, mm -hmm. she went to church with pants. For her time, that was very, my grandmother was very upset. Mm -hmm. So she was like, women nowadays wear pants. Mm -hmm. Take that, now a few generations later, mm -hmm. that's what they're saying about you guys. Mm -hmm. You're talkative, you cast, whatever, whatever. We so, so we go out, we drink. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come yeah. on, man, six. It's really, for me, the most I've had is, is from <laughs> your aunts and from your yeah. generation. Yeah. Damn. Okay, remember, the biology plays a role. Mm -hmm. those, those, the boobs you don't want to suck, mm -hmm. There's a reason why you have them. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it wasn't a choice. You're born a woman. Yeah. And then, like I said when we were saying, this guy is a nerd and all with the whole majesty thing. Yeah. You're the nurturer. You, you nurture life. You yeah. bring life mm -hmm. forth. You feed mm -hmm. the kid. You raise them. That's why we even have something called the mother tongue. Yeah. You're very fast language. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We pay homage to the woman who yeah. taught you even how to, to speak. Oh, yeah. Now, if you don't want to be a woman, well, you want to be like the dude who. When you're healing from your cesarean, is at the bar saying mm. they'll take care of the child. So I think also this modernism, if I may say so, mm. it's gone wild, kidogo. Mm. Where it's almost like women think that being a woman is a form of subjugation. It right. isn't. There's nothing wrong with cooking. There's nothing wrong with cleaning. But it shouldn't be enforced on you. Yes. It's something you yes, should do it key. because that's you key. want to do it. Yes. Now here is the secret. Mm. Tell us. Tell us. Because we're wrapping hey. up. Because yes. hey. we're wrapping up. Yes. We'll be married by next week. That's what I'm saying. I'm not I'm not being based yet by the way. But anyway. I'm not being based yet. <laughs> yet. yet. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Nana. Hey Nana. <laughs> Nana. Sit down. Hey. Set expectations. Yeah. See, we do that. Yeah. It's interesting, we do that in everything in life. We yeah. have business plans, mm. you know. Mm. Uh, I, I, I was telling you guys, you know, next time you come to this farm, I'll have done the landscape. Mm. Yeah. Mm. We do that in everything in life. Yeah. So why not marriage? Yeah. Mm. Before you get married, do you cook? Oh, you don't cook, okay, sour. Ah, easy, care. bye. Yes, yes. 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 yeah, just yes. set yes. expectations. Right? Yeah. This is yes. what yes. I expect. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And we go on. Yeah. Yeah. Because even see, when we get married, there's a marriage contract which yes. the lady puts in, yes. your, in, in your, your pocket. pocket. So let's treat right. it like anything yeah. else in life. Something yeah. extremely, how many children do you want? Yes. yes. Are you quitting your job when the yeah. kids come? Yeah. What's happening? Yes. I think if we're more honest with I each like other that. before honest. marriage. I like that. Have a, oh, have a marriage strategy I meeting. Yeah, so There's a part. I I might, at 25, I might decide, yes, I'll cook for you daily. Mm. Okay. At 30, I might want to never cook. Okay. Yeah. True. And we're married already, so, it's so it's what happens? Yeah. So you may like, like change. change. Yeah. Life is true. Yeah, then you go back to the boardroom. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but what if yeah. your partner doesn't want that? What if he still wants to Then you compromise. You compromise. you compromise. you compromise or you, you compromise. realize you have become incompatible so you are, and yeah. you stop wasting each other's time. Stop wasting time for 
each other. Hey, hey. Just. marriage is guys. actually not that complex. Guys, guys. Hey, this is just have that episode. meeting discuss. This will come out like over 25 is advocating for divorce. We are yeah. no, 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 no. for happiness. We are advocating for happiness. We are advocating for happiness. It's not a complicated thing. Maybe it's the way my marriage is crafted. I'm not struggling in marriage. It's a beautiful thing. I have a wow. companion, I have a friend. Yeah. We have three beautiful children. Yeah. And she's prospered me. The moment she came, I stopped being a joke. I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm a married man now. Yeah. I better chase that contract. Yeah. The kids came. Hey. 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 I have that actually works. prospered yeah. in marriage. Yeah. Seven yeah. years. Wow. Eight in debt. Love, <laughs> love, love wins. Love wins. Love, love, love and love strategy. Only. I don't think it works in isolation. <laughs> love and strategy. I don't think it works nice in isolation. One. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. So um, that was an amazing episode. Thank yeah. you so much to Seth. Thank you so much to Anita. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you, Ajoy. Hey, Ajoy. Wilfred. Wilfred. Studio audience. Studio audience. He has been, been like so he was away. managing the set. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. We'll see you. We have a team. We have a team. Bye. Bye. Oh, my God, that's one of the five. Subscribe.